a scenario whereby if Carl's left heel isn't in my ear, okay, we're looking to pendulum our legs and bring that elbow back. Now we've looked at when his elbow's tight, obviously I'm making my, my, my model on grip. I'm throwing there, I'm freeing my head, getting my head above his leg, turning into him, controlling that inside space. Let's look at the scenario. Nothing is working so far. So we're in our position. Now again, we're gonna talk about um, next week on where Charles' arms positions will be. Most people, if they're attacking the right arm, will have their right arm <coughs> finding their hip. And this one down here, especially if I make this grip, because then there's things he can be doing to force this grip open. He can go the other way, we will look at that next week, but um, for the sake of the drill, Carr's right arm is gonna be controlling the crook of my arm, and he's gonna have a hand on the mat for a base. Let's just say, it couldn't do anything with the lead leg. He's floating it, he's there, and then, um, then he's bringing it out straight. So sometimes when they're really focused on one thing, we can uh, um, use this leg. So I'm just back in my position again. All I'm gonna do is pendulum my legs away from Carl, and I'm gonna get my elbow underneath the, the secondary leg. Okay, the primary leg is the one that's controlling my head, the secondary leg is the ones that are controlling my body. So just pendulum and bring my elbow underneath. I've made a wedge. So now from there, I can physically pass Carl's right leg to my legs. Now I don't wanna stay down at the ankle. The goal is now to create space between Carl's legs. So if I stay down low, I can't really create space. So I'm gonna uncross and triangle above his knee. Once I'm here, the goal is to make as much space between his legs. Yes, I can push on this leg. Sometimes I just like to stretch this arm out. And as I do that, I'm actually bringing my elbow back. So option one from here is I just come to my knees. And from there, So from our position, nothing's changed. This is the arm he's gonna be arm barring. This is your defensive hand. It's on top, palm down, pulling everything tight to my body. If I feel he's just too good with this leg, we're gonna try and escape using this leg. So I'll pendulum my legs and get it underneath. Sometimes if I can't get the profile of my elbow underneath, I'll just do a little bump on my hips and I get my elbow underneath. I use that as a wedge just to pass his right leg between my legs. And then I focus on trying to get above his knee. You can cross your ankles, you can make a triangle, whatever you prefer. And now from here, I'm gonna stretch my arm up, find the hip, come to my knees, and now I'm just gonna turn the corner. Pass. There is a sneaky little knee bar you can do from there as well, but just add that in. So from our position, nothing's really changed. I make that wedge, I lift, I find this, I climb high. Only this time when I bring my elbow back, I'm gonna shrug it off and find this. Now I'm gonna turn my hip, my hips turning towards cars. Just gonna slide that down to the end of the lever, and then I just pull it back. Turn the corner, hug the head, and I passed. Or from that position, I'm going to come physically up to my knees and shrug that off and find a shin. I need to turn my hips and I bring my left knee beside his um, right hip and then just slide this down to the end of the knee. So, defense, make the wedge, 
Find that secondary leg, climb high. Option one is I stretch this out. Come to my knees. In the corner. Four. And here, I can shrug this off and find the shin. And I just bring my hip underneath his. Find the end of the lever. Be careful on that one. 